Hey guys, so today I'm filming my products I've used up video. This is going to be a, well I don't really have that much makeup. It's mostly like beauty stuff and I've been collecting this stuff for over two months I think, maybe even three months. And I do plan on doing another one of these. I will still keep saving like products that I finished up and stuff. So it was actually really fun because you really find out what you like and what you would repurchase and you know you just know what you really love by what you've used up so I don't have much makeup so I'm just gonna get started with those so the first one is a lipstick from BYS I'll come up a little bit closer so you can see so that's the lipstick um, you, I think I've used this in tutorials before I'm not really sure but it's in the color champagne rain and it's like completely melted and dingy and I just can't use it anymore. I've had it for years but I did used to use it a lot before it became melted. So with that one I did not repurchase it only because I got a beautiful lip gloss from NYX and the Rimmel lip gloss I have is very much like um, that lipstick colour so I pretty much just use that so therefore I did not repurchase that mm -hmm. one. The next thing is a primer, a face primer that, no, yes it is a face primer, it's a foundation primer but if you have been watching my videos for a while um, I used to use this actually on my eyes as an eye primer before I got my NYX eye primer. But that's what it looks like, it is the Rimmel Fix and Perfect foundation primer but like I said, I used it as an eye primer and that's what it looks like. There's pretty much nothing in there. I used it all up and I had it for a very, very long time. So this one I will not be repurchasing only because I got the NYX um, actual eyeshadow base and I noticed such a huge difference from using a foundation primer as my eye primer and using an actual eye primer which is meant for your eyes. It is such a big difference, so I did not repurchase this, therefore I got the NYX and I'm very happy with that. Okay, next is in like, ooh, I just dropped some of it. It's in such an awful mess, but um, it is the, is this Rimmel? I think it's the Rimmel Stay Matte, yes. It's the Rimmel Stay Matte powder. I used to use this to set my foundation and stuff, and it kind of broke, but even like, even if it didn't break, I was still using it until it broke. And I got um, the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder, so I did not repurchase this. I just keep using that and I'm very happy with it. Okay, this is the state of what's happened to my powder, but I loved it. It is absolutely amazing. If you have oily skin, this is really the way to go. Next product is an eyeliner, and it is the brand Shambor. I got this when I was in India, so how old is this like eight months I use this and it has absolutely nothing I can twist it all the way up to the top um I do like it though but I got the Rimmel Scandalize and that's what I have in my waterline now it is absolutely amazing so I can't really repurchase this anyway because I'm not in India so maybe when I do go back to India I will get like stuck up on these but I do really love that Rimmel Scandalize it's very similar to this very creamy formula. But that's what that one looks like. You can see my little sister's hiding behind the chair. Can you see that? That's funny. Okay. But here yeah, you can see it's twisted all the way up to the top. Absolutely nothing in there. So we say bye bye to this one. Okay. Next is a liquid liner. It's a glitter liner I used to use a lot in high school because um, I always thought like using greens and stuff complemented my eye colour. But this is from, it's like, I think that lipstick got onto some of this and it's all sticky and gross. But um, this is the Bourjois Liner Glitter Fizz. And what colour is this in? Sparkling Green. That's what it looks like. I used this for a long time in high school. And I used to put it on my top... I used to put it on my top um, on my top lash line. That's what the brush looks like now. That's how bad it is and dried up and stuff and it doesn't really work anymore. But it was really pretty once upon a time. But 
it's really it needs it really has to leave now okay I have two mascaras and this one I did repurchase um, because I just absolutely love it and I can't be without it and it is the Maybelline falsies I just love the wand of it it's like here yeah, look it's like you see it's got a bit of a curve so I do it like you can swap it either way so it makes like a different shape it is amazing so like I said I did repurchase this only because it is so amazing this mascara I used to use for a long time like in high school it was what every girl used in high school and it is a Maybelline Great Lash Mascara um, I didn't repurchase this only because I I don't know I didn't really like it I felt like it wasn't that great compared to when I used it in high school it just didn't do what I remember it doing and I also repurchased sorry I got the Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara and I mix that in with the falsies and whew, it's beautiful it literally makes them look like false lashes so that's very nice but this one I mean I did use it up until it was too dry to use but I mean I don't mind it but I wouldn't repurchase it Okay, that's it for all my makeup stuff. Now I'm going to get into beauty things. I used up two things of wet wipes, and this one is the Johnson's Fair Face Care Daily Essentials Fragrance Free Facial Cleaning Wipes. And it's 100% perfume free, and it is for all skin types. As you can see, there's nothing in there, and I really actually quite like this um, more than the next one I'm about to show you. This one is so like for sensitive eyes if you have sensitive eyes i do like anything even if it is a product that's meant for sensitive eyes it will still burn my eyes and this one did not it was absolutely amazing um but i think i'm going to repurchase this because i just run out of wet wipes which is the next one i'm going to show you so i think i'll get this one again not the next one Speaking of the next one, it is the Colds brand and it is a 4-in-1 cleansing wipes. It cleanses, tones, moisturizes and removes makeup including waterproof mascara. And like, this is good for the price that it is. And I used to buy them like 2 or 3 um, packs, but until I tried that Johnson's and I found it was so nice on my skin and it didn't burn my eyes or anything so I don't think I'll get this one again I think I'll get that one can you see her in the camera <sighs> that's cute okay now I have a lot of hair stuff like a lot of shampoos and stuff like that so I'll show you that this one I got two of these that I used up and it is the L'Oreal Total Repair Instant Miracle Restoring Treatment. It is, I use it as, I mix it in with my conditioner every time I wash my hair, which is three times a week. And I found that it really makes my hair soft and smooth and silky and I like it a lot. So it is like a rinse out deep conditioner that you don't have to like leave in your hair. And I obviously have used up two bottles and I'm on my third or maybe even my fourth. I've been using it for a long time. So I will keep this in my hair care routine. I love it so much. Okay, next are uh, shampoos and conditioners. This one I really liked, but um, I'm not going to be repurchasing any of the shampoos and conditioners I'm showing you because um, the one that I'm using right now, which may come in my favorites video, so I won't mention it, but the one that I'm using right now is the one I'm going to be repurchasing the, um, that, the next time. But this one is a Pantene Daily Moisture Renewal. I really like this for oil control, even though it doesn't say anything about oil control on it. For me, it controls the oils in my hair, and I always felt like I didn't have to wash my hair, but I just did it because it fit into my routine. But this is really, really nice, and it's a huge bottle, and I used it all up, and I like it. I mean, I made my hair clean for days. Okay, next, I think this was in my hair care routine video, and it is the Dove Damage Solutions Color Radiance um, Shampoo and Conditioner. This one I did not like. I had to mention it in that video because it's the one that I had at the time. But I don't like this and I don't remember why I don't like it. It's just like, like you know when you put the shampoo in your hair and you rinse it out, you just feel clean. You feel the lather. I did not get that with this um, set so I will not be repurchasing this. This one I just tried because it was unspecial and it's 
I needed champion conditioner. This just drew me to it, and it's Frizz and Weather Defense. Um, I got this because of like the rain and stuff like that. And whenever I go out, and my hair's like straightened or anything, and if it rains, I'll just it'll be a huge frizz ball. She's so inquisitive. Um, but yeah, it did control the fizz frizz. But I still had to use like a deeper serum in my hair, so I didn't really see the point of that. So I will not be repurchasing this. Okay, next is my body wash, and it is huge. I know it is a QV gentle wash. It rehydrates dry skin and it's soap free. Um, it's what I have to use. I mentioned in my skincare um, routine video, I think it was, that I have to use all fragrance free and alcohol free products on my body and my face because my skin is sensitive and acne prone so even though this doesn't have a smell to it it definitely makes me feel clean and i have certainly repurchased and i'm um still using this so this i think i'll have to do for the rest of my life another skincare thing that i used up is the cetaphil oily skin cleanser gad <laughs> And it's a Cetaphil Oily Skin Cleanser. This is for oily or acne prone skin. Yes, I have repurchased this. This is, like, my skincare routine will not change, I don't think. Um, so I will keep on repurchasing this for the rest of my life, I think. So, yay! And um, this is Airy Acne, and it is my spot treatment for my acne. And it's all cleared up. I'm very happy with this. And I have repurchased it, certainly, and I still will, always. Okay, next is Moroccan Oil. I... Oops, it's my phone. Um, yeah, I used this all up. I had it for ages, and if you saw my hair care routine video, I applied this to my damp hair, and then I blow dry or dry, whatever I'm doing. Um, but no, I did not repurchase this. I think I'm going to try the Macadamia Oil. I will give it a go. So right now I'm not using any type of oil other than a defrost serum, but maybe I'll try out the macadamia oil. I'll see how I go with that. Okay, this is strange, but I finished up two deodorants, the Rexona Pure Silver Crystal. Um, it's an antiperspirant. All I use is antiperspirant because I don't like that wet feeling when you put the deodorant on. So, And this one I use like... And I'm actually going to the shops and this one I just use when I'm at home. It's the Coles Cool Fresh for Women Anti-Perspiring Spray. And I did repurchase this. This is all I use and I don't use this anymore. I just use a body spray for when I'm at home. So that was my products I've used up video beauty and makeup edition. Obviously I didn't have that much makeup. So, But I hope that you guys still found this video enjoyable. And thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.